Well, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, you, all, you all are aware of, this has been a, a very heartbreaking off-season for the hockey family around the world. On September 7, in Yaroslav, Russia, happened a catastrophe which every one of us feared, but we were hoping that it would never occur. A plane carrying the entire locomotive Yaroslav team, coaching staff and officials, who were on their way to Minsk for their KHL season opener there, crashed shortly after takeoff. On the plane were 25 players, three coaches, and eight team officials. Ice hockey has been largely spared from airplane accidents. Despite extensive travel schedules on both sides of the Atlantic and also between. But only until now. This accident, which claimed the lives of 36 members of the hockey family and also flight crew, is the biggest tragedy that has hit our sport. This, the darkest day in the history of our sport, is a tragedy which involved many of our member nations. The victims were from Russia, Belarus, Latvia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Canada, Czech Republic, Germany, Slovakia, and Sweden. Altogether, 10 countries. Many of the players and coaches had made outstanding contribution to the international games. Others had the bright future before them. I was in Yaroslav for the memorial services 12 days ago. And I cannot describe in words the emotions you feel when seeing more than 20 caskets in a hockey arena. Please, ladies and gentlemen, rise for a moment of silence in honor of all those who have left our hockey family during the period following the last Congress. Thank you very much.